golden wrap behind me is India's Mars Orbiter Mission or Mangalyaan. I have with me M. Anadurai, the man who made waves with India's Chandrayaan-1 satellite and is now heading the team which made the Mars Orbiter Mission. Anadurai, are you happy with what has happened with the satellite till now? Yeah, as of now everything is going smooth and we are uh, fully geared up the satellite to go to the uh, city airport as concerned. Uh, satellite, everything is functionally tested and all systems are fully geared and we are totally happy as a team. Have you been able to do the same quality of work which you did for Chandrayaan 1? Yeah, I think I can tell we have graduated from Chandrayaan 1 because all the lessons learned from Chandrayaan 1 has been very well put here and the requirements of a Mars mission is yes, slightly more than what is warranted from um, uh, lunar mission of Chandrayaan 1. So accordingly, all the quality aspects have been packed here and uh, the satellite is uh, accordingly configured. Whatever failed in Chandrayaan 1, have we used any of those components or have we learnt lessons and done something better than that? Yeah, the components which have failed in Chandrayaan 1 have been very well identified and though they, are, they are not finding a place in any one of these row programs. The same is the case for the Mars mission. And uh, over and above that, we have taken all the cares, whatever the component selections, placement and uh, redundancy aspects have been, also have been seen to that. More than the component systems also we have seen uh, problems of Chandrayaan, not only Chandrayaan, even uh, Mars missions of elsewhere what happened, similar failures, similar problems are not happening in this mission. Everything has been accordingly accounted for. The big excitement from Chandrayaan 1 was the finding of water on the moon. Yeah. What is the big, single big exciting find you expect, if at all, from the Mars mission? Yeah, if you look at the parallelism between uh, uh, water on the moon of Chandrayaan 1 versus now here, uh, probably water on the Mars has been probably unambiguously has seen that. But we are talking about uh, possibility of methane, whether it is there or not. Uh, unambiguously is it possible to answer because our methane sensor will be able to see globally look at and ever, as well as our orbit is in a much better way. Looking for the both global look and as well as a closer look possible with using a methane sensor, probably will be able to answer this question of whether methane is there or not. Now, if I remember correctly, you found water on the moon in 2009. Is it correct that in your own home village, you found water much later? Can you recount that little story for me? Yeah, it's really, really a good uh, thing what happened. Uh, looking back, uh, yes, I, could, I, I can tell you water, finding on the water on the moon is a discovery, is a one, one, one side is a happy. But equally I had a happy, I found happy uh, when we found water on our uh, village, Kodawadi, uh, very recently. And uh, thanks Very recently means when? This year? It is this year. I think a couple of weeks uh, uh, from now, I think we have water on the uh, nearly 1050 meters down, we have seen the water. And it was really, really a, a good thing for our own people there, for my own family, and as well as for me is concerned. So meaning you found water on the moon, which is considered parched in 2009. And in the village where you grew up and you studied, you found water only in 2013. Is that the correct interpretation? No, correct interpretation is basically we had a water. It's not a question of water not being there in our village. But what happened, we have the scarcity of drinking water uh, happened there. Uh, the reason was that is the issue of the village. And uh, we had the difficulties of finding a portable water uh, uh, over the years. And uh, um, thanks to the Chandrayaan name, whatever I got, it helped for me to pull the uh, people around and so that find the resources together so that finding a water in the deep way into the ground uh, are able to identify because resources need to be pulled and the uh, resources to be pulled and the uh, safe water has to go to the village, uh, all the homes. So that probably I were able to do that job thanks to the Chandrayaan 1, the name whatever I got probably helped me to pull the resources together there. So you became the moon man. Now people think you'll become the Mars man. Is that something which you hold with, with some kind of responsibility? No, I, I don't know. The moon man, Mars man, other people are talking about that. But basically, it's a teamwork. You look at he has no single man makes any thing. It's a basically basically a teamwork. And uh, this is a national uh, project, what we are talking about. Either either Chandrayaan 1 or what we are talking about, Mars mission, or even upcoming missions of Chandrayaan 2 or Aditya. Uh, things like that are all uh, the missions which nation going to be getting a pride of that. And definitely, I feel happy to be part of the particular uh, team. And to be a part of the team, definitely, I'm feeling uh, happy. And uh, at this moment, no, yeah. Are, uh, have you given the very best to this this little satellite which is right behind us or could you have something better? 
I think you look at here, ISRO team always believes to give the best whatever we do. Okay, whatever the project you do, whatever the missions you do, uh, the best of everyone goes into that. The same is the case for this Mars mission also. Whatever available uh, with the resources of within ISRO Sampit they have been put in here for this mission. And it is it's going to happen every one of the mission. Same is the case for the Mars. Are you jittery? Are you, do you have butterflies in your stomach? It's a complex mission. One third of the world's mission going to Mars have failed. Does that worry you? I cannot tell it's a worry, but definitely handset is there, but we have to keep all our, uh, we use it on our toes, because the mission of this caliber, first time we are doing, knowing elsewhere, it, every time everybody has not succeeded in the first attempt. So considering that, uh, definitely we had the equally, uh, uh, we have to look into the everything uh, properly, and uh, definitely we cannot have a look for a second chance. So accordingly, the responsibilities of all the people are in, to be to pull together such that we make the even first attempt also for success. Because Mars mission, even Chandrayaan also time also you look at here, lunar mission first time people, first attempts who were the way didn't make a success. Uh, Chandrayaan made it. Probably we'll able to repeat here also, even though first time, first time missions of elsewhere uh, for the Mars, uh, I, I was not much of success. But probably we'll able to do, we, we will able to change that here and for towards that responsibilities and all the our considerations to be put together. I think that's what we have done here. So that was another way telling us that it's really Team ISRO which has delivered. He hopes that India's Mangalyaan mission will reach the Mars orbit and perform as desired. It's a complex mission, it's a treacherous mission, it's a mission which desires that India's technology perform to its best. But Team, Ifro, team ISRO, another way says, has delivered. With camera person Alphonse in Bangalore, Pallav Bagla for NDTV.